Welcome back, everybody. Um, what happened last time? I'm not really sure. We just talked to everybody now. We've got a summer, I think her name. Uh, we got this guy. I don't remember his name. We got um, I uh, got the princess there. We got uh, this girl there. Uh, <laughs> I got lots of people. There's Mori. She looks odd. I don't know. Anyways, uh, where do we want to go today? You know what? I, I've been thinking about it. I think we got off on a bad foot with this gentleman here. Um, and I want to make amends for that. I, I want to I wanna get on his good side. I mean, we are the Overlord, and he lives in our forest, I guess, behind our castle. So we should probably at least not hate each other. Uh, so let's go with that. So, how was your trip to the forest? Meh. I met this fae named Rosalind. Oh, you met them. Them? No, just a single one. I ran into a single fae. Yeah, probably. I think that fae is usually alone. Then why them? Them is what they want to be called. Rosalind wants to be called them. Why? Personal preference? I'm not too close with them. Hmm, I thought you guys would get along just fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they like others. I quietly agree. I should probably stay away from the forest, too. On that note, you can go and snatch some berries from the forest. Hey! hey. Please! <sighs> Alright, I guess we're just Mori's errand boy now. Small, red small berries, is that it? I wonder if I would bump into Rosalind again. He, she, they? I should probably just ask Rosalind. Ask me what? I turn around and find Rosalind glaring at me, just like the last time I saw them. Them, yes, I got it right, even if it was just in my head. I mentally award myself one good person point. Ask me what? I sized Rosalind up, wondering how I can say this without being completely offensive. What are you? Are you a him or a... <laughs> Either you're a him or a her. That's a good question. What are you? That's good. I didn't mean it in a bad way. It's just that Mori was correcting me about referencing you as a he, and, well, you see, I don't associate with gender. Right, so how should I... Easy. Hold me in your mind as you would a river, a tree, or an oncoming storm. A force of nature isn't a he or a she, and neither am I. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Fine. Sounds good. Mess it up on purpose and I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, I thought it was... Uh, never mind. With that, Rosalind suddenly rushes toward me with their hand grabbing into the collar of my shirt. Um, I, You know, I don't really want to allow it, but I don't think jumping back is going to do us any good. So we might as well just accept whatever Rosalind wants to do to us. Although I'm taken aback by the sudden movement, I remain still. Rosalind grins. Let's go. Rosalind lets my shirt go and leads the way towards the exit. And when we finally arrive by the exit, Rosalind pushes me into the forest without another word. Hey, I turn back and they've disappeared. How odd. I make my way back to the castle, suddenly curious about what I've gotten myself into. Ah, oh, that was a strange encounter, wasn't it? We didn't even get any berries. I guess we should go back, then. I turn right at the big brown tree with pointy leaves, and then I turn left at the oakish-looking tree. Or so I thought. Damn it. I entered the forest with caution, marking my every step. But yet somehow I am lost again. <sighs> I should really learn how to properly teleport home. I continue walking towards what I think is the exit only to find myself in front of a giant waterfall. Oh wow, I'm really bad at this direction thing. But this is gorgeous. I lean over the water carefully, trying my best not to fall in. Hey! And I feel like we've been pushed. Something jumps on top of me and pushes me into the water. I choke it as heck as I push down. I manage to push away whatever has a hold on me. The water burns my lungs as I fight for air. At last, I breach the surface. What the... 
numbly, I scramble up to the shore. The adrenaline makes me feel like my heart is going to burst. <laughs> Roslyn, that's my name indeed. What? I got you. Why? That was not funny. Oh, come on. This is so funny. No, it was not. I could have died. How could such a harmless prank hurt? Drowning, for one. But you didn't. You're, you're not even going to apologize. I'm sorry you're such a pansy. What? I could have died. Yeah, that was funny. I don't even know what to say. Ah, uh, you're being born again. I'm leaving. Are you kidding me? Get back here. No, you sound angry and not fun. Rosalyn. Rosalyn ignores me and walks away into the deeper woods. Are you serious? I wait angrily for a while, but they do not return. I reach my destination after wandering around in soggy clothes all night. Ooh, that, true. that does not sound like a good time. Are, are you okay, Overlord? Oh, let him be. What kind of an idiot walks around all night in wet clothes? Uh, shut up, Valencia. It's only because some of them pushed me into the lake. How awful. Yeah, right. By pushed, he means... I slipped and fell, but I'm too embarrassed, so I'm going to blame my imaginary friend. Very funny. Rosalind is very real. Ask Mori. Overlord, please, please tell me about more about your friend that lives all alone in the forest. Not my friend, some weirdo that tried to kill me. Well, tell them to try harder next time. You seem pretty alive to me. <sighs> I'm going to get more sleep. My head still hurts. Please let me know if I can good get you anything, sir. Thanks, Miyuki. The sniffle. <laughs> What's wrong with that Roslyn kid? Are all Fey like that? Even Mori said that she wasn't close with Roslyn, and Mori gets along with everybody. Why would somebody like that have a friend at all? Maybe Rosalind's so messed up because nobody is there to tell them no. Uh, headache. I'm thinking too much. I should just rest. Man, Rosalind is an interesting character for sure. I guess we'll go back there and see what's going on. What? Oh, I'm, why am I back here again? Oh, last week I said to myself, there is no reason to go back. Rosalind is a bag of scum. Stick with people who treat you with dignity. Or, failing that, who don't actively hurt you. But yet, I'm here again. It's like some mysterious higher being is forcing me to come here. <sighs> to say I enter the forest with caution is understatement. I peek around every tree, making certain to avoid an ambush. I wasn't planning to not do anything, but now I feel I should have prepared something. Rothland! That's my name indeed. <sighs> right. Why are you back? Why? What an odd question. I'm here to see you. I'm here to say hi. I got lost again. Uh, I got lost again. That doesn't explain why we came here in the first place. I, both of these are... I came here to say hi. Yeah. I mean, like we said, Rosalind looks like maybe they need a bit of a friend so we can do that. I came here to say hi. To whom? You. Why would you do that? Why? Uh, just because. I, I don't know. Okay, you're an idiot. Rosalind smacks me on the head like it's nothing. Ow, hey. What? What do you mean, what? Like that drowning last time and hitting me this time? But it's funny. Uh, no, it's really not. But look. Rosalind raises their hand and I flinch. See? Haha, <laughs> you make a dumb face. If you don't stop, I'm going to hit you back. Yeah, whatever. Exits that way. Shoo. Rosalind shrugs me off and starts walking towards the other way. It's really rude, you know. You should not hit people. Then, from a great distance, whatever. Whatever yourself. Ugh, I shouldn't have come back. Maybe we shouldn't have gone back, but I'm having fun with this back and forth, so we're gonna head right over there once again. Oh, as you can see, things aren't going great. 
I was wandering around trying to find the waterfall, and then I got caught. Put one foot in the wrong place, and now you're dangling from a rope by your ankles. And I used to think bears would be the most dangerous thing out here. Ah, so embarrassing. Not only is my ankle freaking out, my head is still aching like crazy. I just can't believe it. This isn't funny, Rosalyn. It's totally funny. How is this funny? You walked right into the oldest trick in the book. How isn't this fun? Besides, you seemed so disappointed last time that I didn't have any tricks lined up for you. Ah, ta-da! I'm not going to come back if you keep pulling this kind of stuff. Sounds great. Woohoo. I mean it. I'm serious this time. I am never coming back. Hey, don't yell. You're hurting my ears. If you don't let me down, I'll... Never leave. Ooh, that's... Or call Maureen June. I wonder what he thinks of them. I think this is a cool thing to say, never leave, because then he might actually let us down. But I want to see what he reacts to Maury, say, me saying Maury and June. I'll call Maury and June. Gah, I won't have those men of maids in my forest. The choice is up to you. But I'm pretty sure they'll think this is funny too. What? There's no way. Actually, I could see them laughing at my misfortune. Rosalind turns to walk away with an extravagant show of disinterest. Wait, where are you going? Elsewhere. Too boring here. What? Wait, what? Where? Eh, hey, you're being too much a baby. Ruined the fun. But you're going to get me down first, right? Please, this is killing me. It really, really hurts. The bushes part and the pay is gone. Rosalind, don't you dare leave. I will kill you, Rosalind. When it's clear Rosalind isn't coming back, I begin to struggle in earnest. My head and my ankles start to hurt. Could my ankles be broken? I could hardly feel it anymore. Oh, I just need a way to untie this rope somehow. Obviously I can't reach it, but I do have a tiny pinch of magic. Maybe if I can focus, on, focus enough, I should be able to light the rope on fire. Come on. My first attempt fails. A few sparks smolder the rope, but it obviously isn't enough. Come on, you stupid fire burn. The small bar sparks explode and scatter, but it's not the rope that starts to burn, but the branch. Snap. The fire snaps the tree faster than I would have imagined. Shit. Oh. Uh, I'm free. What have you done? What? Oh. I noticed that the tiny branch snapped off the tree is still burning. Hey, calm down. It's just... Shut up and get out of my way. Still in shock, I hurriedly crawl to the other end of the clearing. Honestly, I should never have let, let an idiot into the forest. What are you mad at me for? You're the one who trapped me. Yeah, and you started a fire. Calm down. It's just a small flame. Small? A small burn? Are you an idiot? Small flame? In the forest? Do you want to watch all the trees die? Wow, you care so much about a tree. How did you feel when I was up there? Well, you're down now. Get out. You're crazy, you know that? Get out. Fine. I've run as best I can in hopes... In what I hope is the direction of the castle. No reasonable person from either Earth or here would think I'm to blame for that. You don't corner a badger without expecting to scratch. On hours later, I find my way back. Master's face looks horrible. And is covered in dirt. Please. Thanks, June. Master must be ill. That was not a compliment. Got it. Thanks, June. June sighs, annoyed with my bad mood. What did Master do? Why is it an automatically my fault? What did Master do? I didn't do anything. It was Rosalind that tied me to a tree. Forest is dangerous. I know. With a cold glare, June fades into the darkness. Wow, it was fun. Rosalind is turning out. Oh, we can't go back to the forest anymore. That's too bad. But I think uh, this is maybe how we'll do it from here on out. We'll uh, pick one care. Oh, there's there he is there. Or she. Or them. Whichever it is. Um, and they seem to be in my bedroom for some reason. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait for next time. It's a bit of a shorter episode, I know. But that's just how things go. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.